Pentecost Baptist Church. In the latter half of the 17th century, Baptists from England and Wales settled in the county of Philadelphia. Their gathering as baptized believers led to the formation of the Pentecost Baptist Church. In 1686, Elias Keach, son of the famed English pastor Benjamin Keach, arrived in America. Though unconverted, he presented himself as a minister of the gospel. His name secured for him the opportunity to preach, and the aforementioned group of believers in need of a pastor were among those who gave ear to his message. <coughs> Baptist historian Morgan Edwards records the, the details of this event. He performed well enough till he had advanced pretty far in the sermon. Then stopping short, looked like a man astonished. The audience concluded he had been seized with a sudden disorder, but on asking what the matter was, received from him the confession of the imposter, with tears in his eyes and much trembling. The deceiver became the first convert of his own preaching. For from this time he dated his conversion. Keach repaired to Elder Thomas Dundee, who at Cold Springs in 1684 founded the First Baptist Church in the colony of Pennsylvania. Dungan administered the ordinance of baptism to Keach, and the young preacher returned to Pinnapack. The Pinnapack Baptist Church was constituted in 1688. It is recorded that by the advice of Elias Keach, and with the consent of the following named persons, John Eaton, George Eaton, and Jane, his wife, Samuel Jones, Sarah Eaton, John Baker, Samuel Voss, Joseph Ashton, and Jane, his wife, William Fisher, John Watts, and Elias Keach, a day was set apart to seek God by fasting and prayer in order to form ourselves into a church. Whereupon Elias Keach was accepted and received as our pastor, and we sat down in communion at the Lord's table. The same year, 1688, Elder Dungan died, and in 1702, the church at Cold Springs was absorbed into the Pinnapack Church. Though not the first to be established, to ye old Pinnapack belongs the distinction of being the oldest Baptist church in Pennsylvania. It is also one of the oldest Baptist churches in America. In 1707, Pinnapack and four other Baptist churches, Middletown, Piscataway, and Cohansey in New Jersey, and Welsh Track in <coughs> Delaware, became constituent members of the Philadelphia Association, the first Baptist association in America. Pinnapack is a mother to Baptist churches in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Delaware, and beyond. Her influence extended throughout the colonies, and her early pastors traveled far and wide preaching the gospel and organizing churches. The great evangelist George Whitfield preached on these grounds to about 2,000 people May 10, 1740. Elias Keach returned to England in 1692. John Watts, second pastor of the church, is buried here. Other <coughs> early pastors include Evan Morgan, Samuel Jones, Joseph Wood, Abel Morgan, Jenkins Jones, and Peter Van Horn. The present rock building, this building, was constructed in 1805 during the ministry of Dr. Samuel Jones, and his remains are buried behind the meeting house in which he preached for over 50 years. Amen. Other pastors and many of the faithful saints of God rest in these house grounds. This tombstone is John Watts, who was the second pastor of the church, became pastor two years after the beginning of the church. This uh, particular tombstone is not readable, but on the top you'll notice a skull and a crossbones. Then over here, just to the right of it a little ways, these four tombstones are the 
Kingsley family. The first one, uh, Deacon Kingsley, was a member of this church in the early years and was also business partner of Benjamin Franklin's. And they used to take their inventions, he was an inventor as was Benjamin Franklin, and they would travel to islands and to cities and foreign countries with the intent of showing off their wares and, and uh, being able to make business. However, no doubt, Mr. Kingsley often witnessed to Benjamin Franklin, as did George Whitfield. 